All right, guys, it's fight day. It's fight day. It's Saturday. Uh, today's the big fight. Billy Joe Sanders will be defending his WBO middleweight championship of the world that he won two years ago now against uh, David Lemieux later on tonight, a couple of hours from now. Uh, I'm actually excited for this fight. I think this is a good fight. I think this is a good fight for uh, Billy Joe Sanders, especially because... Uh, I've always complained. My my biggest criticism for Billy Joe Sanders is I felt like he lacks competition. He doesn't fight guys that I want to see him fight. He fights low level guys, and uh, I don't rate fighters who fight low level guys. I just don't. He he has some solid contenders like maybe Andy Lee, uh, what's his name, Chris Eubank Jr. Cool, but these guys. Especially Chris Eubank Jr. was improving, and Andy Lee is a guy that he's a guy who always comes up short when he fights someone who's a uh, decent level. Not even decent level. I mean, he lost to uh, Brian Vera for crying out loud, Andy Lee. Uh, so that's my biggest criticism of Billy Joe Sanders. So I was I was actually glad when he uh, picked when he picked to fight uh, David Lemieux because I think finally. This is a guy that I could give him some credit for if he wins because I would give anyone who beats David Lemieux uh, credit because I think David Lemieux is a top, uh, I would say 10 through 15 type of a uh, middleweight. He's a guy that if you're a middleweight, you should fight him. And if you're a good middleweight, you should be able to beat him. That's what he is. Uh, I think he's a guy that when it comes to like, if we're like, ranking guys when it comes to like like say the B level guys at middleweight David Lemieux beats them but when it comes to the A level guys David Lemieux loses to them right now David Lemieux only has three losses one of those losses came to Gennady Golovkin one of those losses came to uh that bum that uh, that bum I forgot how to pronounce his name I, for I forgot what his name was to begin with and uh Rubio he lost to Rubio right uh, now, when it comes to David Lemieux, what intrigues me about this fight is I know how to beat David Lemieux. Like, I know what you have to do to beat David Lemieux. Uh, David Lemieux is a guy that has no heart. Um, when he fought that Rubio guy, the same Rubio guy that uh, beat Gennady Golovkin, I mean, no, they got destroyed, but excuse me, they got destroyed by Gennady Golovkin. That Rubio guy uh, made... David Lemieux quit, and if you look at that fight, he was putting a lot of pressure on David Lemieux. The whole fight, he was putting pressure. David Lemieux is one of those guys that he's a bully, right? He comes forward, right? He's always coming forward, and he's throwing hooks, right? He's a big puncher, and a lot of times, fighters are intimidated by his punching power, and he's like a stalkerish type of fighter, right? He's like a come-forward guy, but when he's being pushed back, when he's being the one bullied, that's when you start seeing weaknesses in David Lemieux. That's when you start seeing him... His heart give out. Uh, when he fought that Rubio guy, he was coming forward, right? But that Rubio guy, this happened like five years ago, six years ago, was coming forward. And he was standing up to the bully, in a sense, right? He was standing up to the bully in David Lemieux. And David Lemieux wilted in that fight. He wilted in that fight. Uh, the same thing happened with Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin was coming forward against David Lemieux. He was throwing a jab, right? But he was coming forward. And he, he made David Lemieux respect him. So, even at times with Marco Reyes, when he fought that, that Marcos Reyes guys earlier this year, Marcos Reyes was actually coming forward at times. And when he was coming forward, even though he lost that, the fight clearly, he you could see David Lemieux look, looked very uh, uncomfortable. He looked very uneasy. He didn't look comfortable in there. So, David Lemieux is one of those guys that when he's being backed up, when he's being pushed back, he breaks. I think he mentally uh, breaks. Uh, I don't think he likes... Guys that are aggressive towards him. You know, aggressive with him. Now, I've seen some guys say this is like a, not a risky fight for a, a, a Billy Joe Sanders. It should be. If you're a champion, you should be taking risk, risky fights. Uh, and this is why I'm intrigued with this fight. Because when you say Billy Joe Sanders, Billy Joe Sanders is not a puncher. He doesn't have a punch. He's not. He's, so it's not like he has a puncher's chance to knock out David Lemieux. And Billy Joe Sanders doesn't fight the way... Uh, somebody like Gennady Golovkin or even Rubio fought against uh, uh, David Lemieux. 
He doesn't come forward, marching forward. So, what I think you're going to see in this fight, uh, excuse me, is you're going to see David Lemieux marching forward because he's not going to, because again, if he's being pushed back, that's when you see his weaknesses. That's when you see him break down mentally. But he's not going to have to worry about that because Billy Joe Sanders doesn't fight that way to begin with. And Billy Joe Sanders is going to be the boxer. He's going to be moving around, playing the counterpuncher. And David Lemieux is going to be marching forward, right? Uh, unlike, you know, William Monroe, William Monroe was, wasn't being offensive enough. That's not going to be the case with, uh, David Lemieux. He's going to be coming forward. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to have respect for Billy Joe Sanders because he knows Billy Joe Sanders is not a puncher. So it's going to be interesting to see how Billy Joe Sanders reacts when he has a guy constantly coming forward. How does he react to that? Uh, when he can't get the guy off. Another thing, this is the first time I thought... I thought Billy Joe Sanders had fought outside of the UK, but this is the first time he's fought in foreign soil. He's never fought outside of the UK, I guess, apparently. I thought he, for some reason, I thought he had, but uh, no, he's he's fought his entire career in the UK, so this is the first time he's going to another country. Remember, this fight's happening in Canada, not in the UK, so all the favors are going to be for uh, David Lemieux. The crowd's going to be for him. Uh, the judges are most likely going to be for him. They're all going to be rooting for him. Remember, David Lemieux is a young guy himself. He's still in his 20s. And David Lemieux has never been a champion. David Lemieux has never been a champion. He's always wanted to be. At least I don't think so. Was he? I, I forget, man. I haven't been following, keeping track of David Lemieux's record, you know, resume in a while. But I would imagine this is. If he's, if David Lemieux is going to become a champion, it's going to happen right now. It's not going to happen in two years. It's going to happen right now. Because out of all the champions, the weakest guy at. The weakest champion is clearly, in my opinion, Billy Joe Sanders. So if, if David Lemieux is going to become a champion, if he's ever going to become a champion at middleweight, this is his, his opportunity right here. It really his one and only chance. Because he already lost to Genetic Golovkin. You know, and there's a lot of young guns out there like uh, J the Charlo brothers, even Demetrius Zandrade. I think those guys will give him hell. Uh, definitely Demetrius Zandrade, I think he'll give him hell. But uh, just stylistically. But so this is, so he's probably really determined to win this fight. I've. I've seen articles where, Bill, uh, you know, David Lemieux is saying that, you know, he's he's going to be ruthless against uh, uh, Billy Joe Sanders. I hope he is because I think that's how he's going to beat him. I don't think he has the boxing skills to outbox Billy Joe Sanders. I think he has to be aggressive and he has to knock him out. And if someone's going to get knocked out in this fight, I will definitely say it's Billy Joe Sanders because, like I said, David Lemieux, I think he has a decent chin. And David Lemieux, uh, uh, again... Uh, I don't think Billy Joe Sanders has the punching power to stop David Lemieux, but I do think that Billy Joe's uh, Sanders, no, I do think David Lemieux has the punching power to knock out Billy Joe Sanders. Because David Lemieux, even though uh, he's very, he's kind of, you know what he's gonna do? He's very like a typical fighter, like he's a typical aggressive fighter. When he connects, he can lay anybody out. He's a very vicious puncher. Like if he connects, so if he manages to connect to uh, Billy Joe Sanders, then. It might be night night for Billy Joe Sanders. He might get dropped. Uh, so again, I said in my in a previous video that I wouldn't be shocked if Billy Joe Sanders got robbed. And the reason I say that is because you know again, the fight's happening in in uh, Canada. Every time, even if David Lemieux misses wildly, they're gonna be rooting for uh, David Lemieux. Even if he misses wildly, because you know they're hardcore David Lemieux fans, so they're gonna be going crazy for him. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya said that, uh, what's his name, if David Lemieux wins this fight, he will fight Canelo next. So I guess, yeah, because then he'll be the WBO middleweight champion of the world. So I guess then he'll have him fight Canelo for a big fight next year, and then Canelo will beat him. Because trust me, Canelo would beat David Lemieux, and then he'll become the middleweight champion, the WBO middleweight champion of the world. But my question is, what if Billy Joe Sanders beats uh, uh, David Lemieux? Will Oscar then have Canelo fight Billy Joe Sanders? You know? I see Canelo, I see Billy Joe Sanders really wants that fight. Uh, that will be another credible fight for him. He definitely won't beat Canelo, though. Because you can't beat Canelo unless you knock him out. Uh, so, nobody could beat Canelo. You could only beat Canelo if you literally knock him out in the ring. Uh, <laughs> that's just the fact. But, yeah, this is an intriguing fight. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited because I think it's intriguing. I think it's a fight that... It's a credible win for either one. Either guy and... I think it's a fight that uh, could go either way. I think David Lemieux has to be aggressive. I think David Lemieux has to go to Chris Eubank Jr. Excuse me, have, uh, Billy Joe Sanders' body. I think he has to go uppercuts. I think Billy Joe Sanders, 
I think Billy Joe Sanders has to take some risks in this fight. I don't think he just has to play, you know, the cutesy boxer. No. I don't think he has to do that. I think he has to take some risks because he's fighting in another guy's country. Take some risks, you know. You know Billy Joe Sanders has no, I mean, you know David Lemieux has no heart. Push him back. Show him that you're the boss. It's going to be hard to, for him to get Dave Lemieux to respect him because he doesn't have punching power. But I still think he should be physical with Dave Lemieux. Because, again, I think that's how you beat Dave Lemieux. You be physical with him. But, yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. It's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this fight in the comment section below. And, uh, make it a good I'm out. Thanks.